Hey, for the first time since 2013, Oregon State beats UCLA in a dual meet. 197 for Oregon State. Very nice second week of the year at a meeting of two Olympians, Jordan Childs of UCLA, Jade Carey of Oregon State, both members of Team USA in the Tokyo Games last summer. Jordan Childs on bars. And she had a 9925 in rotation one. In her two events, Jordan Child showed us why she was such an exceptional Olympian. She does four release moves, including that in bar ginger, before she settles in to this full twisting double back, really shows off that handstand and finds the landing and then finds her teammates celebrating that phenomenal routine. The very next gymnast in rotation one was her Olympic teammate, Jade Carey of Oregon State. That Yurchenko double full, the most difficult vault being done in college, and she does just a tiny hop back. It looks so easy for her as she go over to bars, where again, the story is how easy Jade Carey makes this hard gymnastics look. She had a 9-9 on vault. That was by far her lowest score of the day. Wow. The dismount landing with your chest up like that is so challenging, and again, she makes it look easy. Got a 9.95 there, including a 10 from one judge. Great moment for UCLA's Kendall Poston. A late entry into the lineup coming off a fall last week. Stuck the landing. Excellent moment for the fifth year senior. And those two super seniors, Kendall Post and Paulina Tratz, have been through so much in their UCLA careers. And to come in and stick a routine was a phenomenal moment. And then the Olympic gold medalist on floor, Jade Carey, 9975. Yes, she needed a 9925 to break the OSU school record. And with a start like that, that Silavash double twisting double back, so difficult and makes it look so easy. Jade carries 39-8, an Oregon State school record in the all-around, tops in the nation this year. And her last three rotations, she got a 10 from one of the judges in each of them. Remarkable meet for Jade Carey. Oregon State beats UCLA. Second week of the season for each of these two is in the books.